uh, as we are referred to, uh, the father of the Senate. Uh, I would really like to sorrow great father for me. And uh, people ask me how we got along when we were president. I think I didn't see you as president, I saw you as a father figure. And I talked to you like <laughs> I you know related to you like that. Sometimes you get annoyed. So you this stupid boy, what do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the governor. I told him that today is not governor, he's a chairman. He's a chairman of the institution. Thank you very much. Uncle Julius, he knew me before I was born. My uncle is also my mentor. So I can see that. I'm a bit angry with you, but I'm very late. I know the reason why I'm late, but nonetheless, but I'm forgiving you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, I don't like mysteries. I like to demystify things. I like to get to the core of things. Uh, and then, of course, anybody in our generation, maybe the generation for before our own. Oh, why are you Growing talking water like that and giving to people? I'm just a social bender. No, no, no. If no, no, anybody wants to give them with the bags, no. They're okay. giving them with the bags. You don't know where you are going. Where you are going. It doesn't going matter. Okay. You can't just be serving people like that. And, uh, when I was going to Oxford, out of curiosity and sense of them, why shouldn't I know? Because even those who don't, most people who pass comment on African traditional religion don't actually know anything about it. Exactly. Right? From my own study, actually, Ifa is the most ethically oriented religion you can ever see. Right? Here, yeah. and I will now recite a note. Orumila actually recommended, recommended Monogami. He said, to be a constitution of prayer, no to Monilio. Only to my divinity, not to Foko. To our divinity, 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 so, you see, yeah, no, but I'm sure that most people didn't know. Look at the proof, look at it, look at it, and he rationalized it. You know? <coughs> forget that that is Ifa. Look at what he has said about life, and you will see the validity of the position that he's taking. You know? And you see, what you call Rodufa is something like this, so profound that if you. The problem is that people don't, don't even want to listen before they pass the comment, right? And if I saw you right, is the most detached when they make a recommendation for anybody. Right? It's very, there is a level of objectivity about how it relates to society. If I cannot, as a matter of fact, Tell you to go and be a pastor. I recommend you that that is where you are lying. It's as objective and neutral as that. So, you know, I went to Oxford on the basis of a proposal to write on the contemporary politics of Nigeria. So, when I got there, you know, at the African Studies Center, I said, well, What is it that I want to teach these people at Oxford about Nigerian politics? What what is the new thing? What, what, what is this that they don't know? I, I like to impress. You know? So I said, well, definitely he finds one area that. No, but, but the thing is that he actually came as a flash of inspiration. One of 
my best uh, teacher, you know, Max Bema. You know, he had this thesis. And like somebody said, it has been the most talked about thesis in the past one century. And that he has seen no evidence that it will not remain like that for another one century. And that is the origin of the capitalism. You see, he attributed the development of capitalism to the Protestant ethic, their own religion, right? It was a very unique thesis, you know, by any threat of the imagination. So, and the, what he formulated was that he said, he, he predicted on three things. One, those Protestants, the Calvinists, right? that they were not motivated by instant gratification. Those who made capitalism succeed. They saw it as a vocation, right? That before there was this belief among them that predestination that everybody, no matter what you do, you are, you are either going to have either been condemned to hell or you are going to hell even before you are born. So he then said, look, if that the only way to motivate somebody to do well is that look, if you not do well in, in this world, right? If you are an honest and ethical person in the pursuit of your business, that also qualifies you to be a member of the elect, right? And that so so he did it on three, three things. The, the, the individuals or the patrons of the, the cabin. Second was predestination, who is Ori, that Ori is over one side. The third is Iwa. You know, so, and this is, so, from my own study, I discovered that the Calvinists, they have a correlate, they have a corresponding figure. Mythology, and that is Obatala. Obatala is the god of purity. Yeah. The saintly, ethical, and everything. And in the Buddha tradition, Obatala is a patron saint of wealth, of capitalism. Yeah. And of course, only in the Yoruba tradition correlates with predestination. But in the same, and this is again where you know, the advice is very popular, that if you come with a good ori to this world, and you don't do anything about it, you choose to live with a life of lay about them, that ori will go to waste. <laughs> so, so you needed Iwa, right? To make you realize, to attain that good ori that you brought to the world. So you know, so and that corresponded the team, you know, that is how the correspondence between the two, uh, between the, the protestant and that was how it's just a simple. I'm sorry, I hope I can I yes. have to be as simple <laughs> as I can. But you know, as I said, and of course this caught the white people's attention. <laughs> There was it was an audacious thing to do. And of course I knew that there is no way this white man would know about it. <laughs> Although maybe there are ascensors like uh Pasco who are turning around the first uh, first talk of the world. But many of them of course and they are not they have not been challenged to think the way I was uh, and to create something out of it. So it is just my own uh, as I said. The more you read about, forget about the mysteries and read about the fact, if you see the verses, right? Okay, yeah. that's one you like from me. Almost like Psalms. <laughs> the Psalms in the Bible. You know, they are quotes of ethics. And, and it is self-evolving, right? People spoke about what, like human can sacrifice. And after a while, or you will have condemned it. Well, not from there. What he said, look, you can substitute human sacrifice with animal. So these are the things that you know you if 
Thank you very much. 